welcome to the Disneyville Podcast, episode 15. My name is Jessica. My name is Tyler. We finally remember to introduce ourselves within the first few seconds. And we both have the same last name, coincidentally enough, and it's <laughs> Braun. <laughs> uh, today, we are talking Epcot. We're going to play a game that you guys are welcome to join Let's in. play a little game. <laughs> so there's kind of a backstory on this game. It's called Plus One, Minus One. I don't know if this is a known game. I heard of it year, a couple years ago on the Wedway podcast, which I think they're still recording. Nate the episode and Matt Parrish. Matt yeah, Parrish, that's right. Yeah. I know. Well, anyway, I think they have another podcast like one of them does with someone else. And I've been listening to that or I had been a few years ago. Anyway, the point is they played this game back in like 2020 when I randomly listened to it. And I was like, oh, my gosh. And they called it plus one minus one. And basically the idea is that you pick a ride, attraction, show, land, whatever. And we're going to, we'll explain that for this specific episode. But you basically share one thing you love about it and one thing you either don't love about it or that you would change about it, right? So kind of like pro con for each thing. So what are we doing today, Yeah, we're like, we have to have some sort of specific uh, thing we're talking about. Otherwise, we'll just be all over the map. Mm -hmm. And so we decided today we're going to talk about world showcase pavilions we're gonna go one by one talk about the pavilion as a whole and we'll each do a plus one minus one if that didn't make any sense it'll make sense once we do this first one you'd be like okay so we want you to play along so if you want to share your plus and minus for some of the countries one of the countries all of the countries in a comment if you're watching on youtube please feel free feel free to dm us on instagram like i just think this is such a fun topic some of them were a little bit hard. They were. This took me. I was like, okay, I'll pop this out in like ten minutes, yeah. easy peasy. And I, it took me forty minutes. I think to it took me like forty five minutes. I couldn't believe it. I'm glad that we like wrote them down beforehand because if we were doing this on like live, I'd be like, I don't know, give me uh, yeah. a minute. <laughs> yeah, this is one that like it's not as easy to do. We've definitely done plus one minus one uh, on the road before, like just yeah. driving and doing it back and forth, and even that is kind of hard, but it's fun. Yeah. So I think we'll do this if we enjoy, if you guys enjoy this doing it, but then we'll always have like a specific topic. So like restaurants and magic kingdom plus one minus one, whatever. Yeah. But I think it's just kind of a fun way to, it's just a different way of looking at things. Yeah. I, I loved their podcast. The Wedway, Wedway. I did too. I need to, we've both gotten out of like listening to podcasts. Yeah. We're definitely in an audiobook era. I feel like for yeah, both of us, definitely. especially you. And I, I kind of want to get back into it. And theirs was one. I know they did a lot of history yeah, episodes. Maybe yeah. they still do. Maybe some of you guys listen. We just need to look into it. Yeah, they were so good. Yeah. Okay. The We're just going to go. Yeah, but you know what? So what? You know, the like, classic thing. Which way do you go when you enter World Showcase from the front, not from International Gateway? When you enter, which way do you go? We always Depends go to. Depends on the day. We yeah. pretty much always go to the left, but sometimes we get But nasty. I think generally most people go to the left, and I'm, I'm so fascinated by that. I say we go backwards. Oh, I got it. I know. I know. I'll just go here. start at the bottom. And so Canada first. Do you so want to share your plus plus minus minus plus let's minus do... plus minus? Yeah, let's do it that way. Plus minus because some minus. of mine okay. are related. Okay. All right. You start. Okay. <laughs> I'm not ready. <laughs> okay. Canada. My plus is I think it is perhaps the prettiest country of all of them. They've wow. got like the, think about when you're walking down through the little path in there, there's like the flowers and the landscaping. And then not to mention the waterfall. I think the buildings that are built there are absolutely gorgeous, but <laughs> I feel like they just need to add something. Yeah, It needs something. Canada's right there. There are friendly neighbors to the North. It is wild that they that that's it they're like it's good there's like a little shop and there's a little like bar stand and then there's the circle vision and a little cellier that's good sometimes we open that thing in the back and over like how is there not more yeah so i have an idea <laughs> yeah let's hear it i think they should add a legitimate quick service down there like an actual one because like i said they sometimes open that like pavilion there in the back mm -hmm. where you can get like they'll have the apple slushies and things which are so good by so the way. You, where they do the canada vision 360 video like oh i forgot of, that's in the same building part of the year they just don't do the video and they just end up doing doing the, this thing so yeah. they should actually like build i guess an additional thing i don't know and again we all know like there's obviously only so much room like these are just pipe dreams but they could actually do a legitimate quick service sit down place where you could get your food and actually eat in there or eat within the gardens there because it's so beautiful or they could do like a walkthrough att attraction 
I don't know what that would look like, but I, you know, yeah, I feel like walkthrough attractions. Well, I'll talk about another one here later, and I feel like it's kind of slept on, and they can be really fun. So, like the Moana one they're building, yeah. or I guess it's already open, or well, no, it'll be open mid October. That oh gosh, by the time you guys are seeing this, it might. Anyway, doesn't yeah. matter. Point is, I feel like walkthrough attractions <laughs> yeah. actually can be really cool, and they're often slept on. So that could be something they consider. Yeah. Yeah. Since I know so they're it's, listening. It's, it's funny kidding. because the my, my, I had the same one. So the waterfall and then that walking path down to La Cellier. You're kidding. That's, that was my plus one. I, it's, I love that that little area. The, the landscaping is so beautiful. Mm. They always have like flowers that are so well done. And it's just like this sweeping lawn. I think it's so pretty. But I had a very similar one. There's nothing there. <laughs> and what's funny is it used to be even worse. They just opened that little bar cart with like the two beer options. Mm-hmm three years, years ago, ago yeah. four years ago that did not used to exist so I'm like okay so we've added that one thing but but what kills me is you go to the very tippy top and it's like that hotel i think it's it's, it's that the building that's there is based off of a hotel in montreal, montreal or I quebec think. i'm not sure one what. of the two and when you go up there nothing there you nothing just there. walk up and you kind of like say okay yeah here we are you like walk to the back you're like okay there's the waterfall beautiful well, next country. <laughs> like, why wouldn't they just add a quick service back there? What's it at behind the very the tippy top or like, something? Do do uh, even a walk up window up there for yeah. a restaurant or turn that into a shop? Like, there's two on either side. There's one a little building on. You know either what they side. should do? Maple syrup, right? Do like a walking waffle stand or maple like maple syrup shots. I would try it. Yeah. I mean, there's like a lot of things they could do. It's just crazy that do poutine? makes me sad like for Canada because I like Canada. There? Yeah. What? Why have they not? I mean, that could literally be Disney. Are you listening to us? And we I'm are going to sure come through with a lot of good ideas. There's doors on both of those buildings at the very tippy top, so mm-hmm. I'm guessing it's mechanical stuff behind there or something. Yeah. But I, I mean, I don't. I, it's like the upper area of Le Cellier. I mean, it's not like there's like. Oh yeah, I always forget. Yeah. Elevator mechanics up there. You know what I mean? Like, the, the, uh, what would be in there? Just storage. I, I guess, feel you got to be able to use that space. Or they could certainly build onto it and make it happen, Captain. You know. It's like the first one you come to when you go that direction. Like, it needs to be a little a little more oomph behind yeah. it. Anyway, so those are our thoughts okay. on Canada. UK, you go first, baby. Okay. Um, so, this one's a little specific. I love that they sell swords in the gift shop. And I've always wanted to buy a sword. <laughs> and I don't need a sword. There's no, there's no scenario in which I need to own a sword. <laughs> There's like in between two gift shops, they have like these glass cases on either side, and I always spend three, four minutes looking at the swords, you just do. deciding on which sword I'm gonna buy. I'm like, I, I don't need a sword, but I, I'm, I kind of want to buy a sword. Do you want one with like bejeweled handles? <laughs> See, here's the problem, and this is part of the reason I haven't bought a sword. A, I don't need a sword. B, I can't pick a sword. I'm like, well, if I buy, see, I might need a small sword for like on the go sorting. And then I'm going to need, like, my big Excalibur-style sword for, like, if I'm going into battle like Kit Harrington. I mean, I just need my... If I'm yeah. going to face down an army by myself, I'm going to need both. And that's why I'm like, I can't just buy How one. How could I choose? Yeah, yeah you got to buy it. a few. I guess that's the answer. you got to buy multiple. i got to buy multiple. <laughs> um, but those gift shops I just love, and especially, like, that one where you, if you just look up, they've got all this, like, memorabilia and all that kind of stuff. I just think it's really cool if you... The, the gift shops themselves are fine, but then just, like, looking up and, like, the, the woodwork they have around just makes you feel like you're in England. I love that. Mm-hmm. Um, my minus one is that the Rose and Crown is always two-packed. And I don't know how to solve this problem. Because you mean it, like the bar pub? The bar area. pub. It makes it feel like when you first walk in there. I mean, it makes it feel, I guess, like an Irish pub that it's so small. But like you cannot get up to the bar there. It's just always pub. so packed. Yeah. For a while there, with the protocols they had in place, I feel like you had to like wait and like so people would wait outside. outside. I'm trying yeah. to remember how they did it, and that was kind of nice, honestly, because then when you went in, you knew you weren't just fighting for the bartender's attention type thing. But yeah, do they still have a live performer? I know that lady maybe retired, retired yeah. that was always there. Um, I'm sure they sure do. Their name. Yeah, I think they do. I think yeah. they have a few people in there every so often playing piano on the side there. Which is just cool. So, okay. My plus is kind of similar-ish, minus the swords, the vibes. Like walking around with a cool drink, whether it's a beer from the pub or an iced coffee, whatever. Walking around with a cool drink listening to like when that Beatles cover band mm-hmm. is playing there in the back and there's just people milling around and you're like going into the tea shop or that like they have so many different shops there too. I just love that area. Mm-hmm. 
And it's funny because I'm going to complain about how, you know, certain countries don't have a lot to do, but the UK doesn't have a lot to do either. They don't have, uh, like, movie or the Circle 360, whatever. Yeah. They don't have a ride. They really don't have a lot. And yet somehow it still, to me, feels fun. And yeah. I can't explain that. I love the way they have the like little cobblestone street going through where mm-hmm. it like, kind of curves around. And then you like look up at all the different buildings, the faux architecture on the outside that makes it look so... I just love that. Like The, the faux sods. <laughs> the, thank you. The thatched <laughs> roofs and all that kind yeah. of stuff. I just love that. They, they nailed that. I just yeah. feel like it was so cool. So my minus... This a lot of mine were like ideas for them to do. Yeah, I kind of had. If I were, yeah, I know they talked about doing like Cherry Tree Lane and like these Mm -hmm. other things, and who knows what will actually come to fruition. But wouldn't it be cool if they added a walkthrough maze? Like in Disneyland Paris, they have an Alice in Wonderland, and I literally Mm -hmm. watched a walkthrough of it this morning to remind myself, and it is so cool. They have an Alice in Wonderland labyrinth walkthrough. And you just walk through it and then there's parts like there's like the Queen of Hearts you can hear like they play sa- they pipe sounds in. And I remember it being really cool when we went yeah. back 100,000 years ago. And I feel like that would be totally fitting back there. They have all those gardens. They could totally make it happen. Mm-hmm. And it doesn't have to be Alice in Wonderland, although that is fitting. Yeah. Mary Poppins. Dude, I love whatever. that idea. Wouldn't That's that a be great cool? Idea. And I feel like it'd be a pretty easy thing for them to add. Yeah. Yeah, a lot of my minuses are actually additions that I think they should make. That's why we almost talked about like, well, maybe we should make it like plus is what would you add and minus what would you take away? I'm like, that's almost a totally game, different game entirely, (laughs) which we could totally play too. Some other time we're going to have to play what countries would we add to World Showcase because that would be a fun one. And like, what would the ride? Oh my gosh, yeah. Yeah. That's one I've wanted to do for a long time, but I got to really sit down and think about what it would look like. Uh, Okay, so on to France. France wrong accent on both of our parts yes, sir. okay plus the new ratatouille area is so cool period it's so cool the skyliner up above like all mine are about the vibes i know but like obviously i could say the remy ride love it i could say the uh ice cream shop love it but just i feel like the one thing that's standing out in that area is the new area i just said area a hundred times <laughs> It's just so cool. I love it. I love that they got this little crepery, which is just something different. And I like that you can either do the sit down or you can do the walk up window. The, I mean, just the way it looks leading up to where the ride is, is so unbelievably gorgeous during the day, at night. Like it is always pretty. But my minus is they need a real gift shop back there. I know France has enough gift shops. They really do. Like they've got the perfume area. They have, they have plenty. But I don't know why. I just feel like that area needs an, a legitimate. They have like the little kiosk stands kind of outside that have Remy and Ratatouille stuff. But for whatever reason, I just feel like that's what's missing. Yeah. Just need somewhere where you can peruse while you're walking around with your like ice cream back there beyond just that kiosk stall. Because unless you're riding the ride or you're getting a crepe, there's, there's no nothing there for there. you. Yeah. 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 And maybe that's it. I just feel like it needs something to give us a reason to go back there if we're not doing either of those things. Yeah, I could see that. Which is pretty likely. I mean, unless we have like a fast pass or lightning lane for Remy Mm -hmm. and we're not getting crepes every time, there's not really a reason to be back there. No, it's just pretty. I mean, they just have, I mean, everything, like I I think I said in a video one time, like you can't take a bad picture back there because it's Mm -hmm. all everywhere you look, everything is so pretty. Mm -hmm. You always have sort of the Eiffel Tower in the background and it's Mm -hmm. just really pretty. So mine was La Tessin de (laughs) Glace. Which How is you the ice? It? I, no, I don't know. <laughs> it's the uh, ice cream place. It is. I don't know what they do to that ice cream there. Mm. I don't know what brand it is. I don't know. It's probably not actually French ice cream, but it is so good. I die with that ice cream because we slept on mm. it for a long time. We mm-hmm. went years ago, and then we went just recently. I'm like, oh my gosh, this is like the. It's like better than the ice cream they have on Main Street. It's probably the same ice cream for all I know. But for I don't whatever know. Reason, I think it's different. I got like I think mint chocolate chip, and I'm like, it was. Mm. unbelievably like just decadent and so good it made me so happy and then just walking around with that in that area they with the pretty fountains and all that stuff and oh, then yeah. you could, like you said you can go around to the back i wish they would had uh i wish they would have changed it a little bit and that back area now where the remy ride is i wish there was another i wish it was a loop so you could get back to the main area mm. and i think depending on like it, where, where the ride entrance is they could have made it kind of go back in front of there because right now you kind of it's like you go in and nice. then you have just to like a little of, alleyway like a dead end and then you have to go back out the way you came i think it'd been nice to have like a loop 
so you can kind of just go cross it. It makes it feel more like it. Parisian streets, I feel like, where you just kind of wander through them um, as opposed to this little dead Two end back separate there. distinct areas, yeah. yeah. But my actual negative is the Beauty and the Beast sing along. I don't like the new Beauty and the Beast sing along. Really? And I was thinking about it, and I'm like, okay, here's the thing. So a lot of people don't like what, that Epcot now has like Disney IP in it, which I'm all for because it's a Disney park. We all, like originally they didn't have like Disney characters and that kind of stuff in it, and that that Epcot has been gone for. Well, and I think most years. people have gotten over it at this right. point. Right. So I'm all for bringing in the Disney IP to it, but I wish they had done something more about France. So do a like a, a they because they had a. I forget what they called it. Circle Vision. Circle Vision in there, but it it was like just a movie about France because it wasn't Circle Vision. It was just like a movie theater. Impressions to France. Yes, that's what it was. I wish they had updated that and maybe they could have used Lumiere as like the host of that or something like that, Mm -hmm. but actually make it about France. Not this weird like cartoon sing-along where suddenly, um, what's his name, is now like the, the hero of the story. Um, oh, LeFou. LeFou is now like the the one who tried to get Belle and the Beast together. And it doesn't make any sense. And I think it's kind of silly. But I wish they'd actually made it about France, like the actual country, <laughs> and done maybe some Disney things in it. You know what I mean? Like maybe Belle could have like talked about different areas of France. Right, like exactly. She was the guide or something. And make it more about an interesting the take. actual yeah. country versus just a Beauty and the Beast sing-along. Yeah. I feel like that's got to be a hard line for Disney to toe because you're right. Like the original intention of Epcot was like these countries and a lot of, for a lot of them for a long time, the countries were actually involved in either creating it or funding it or whatever. And so it is interesting now in 2023 as they're adding it in, like thinking about obviously the Frozen edition to mm-hmm. Maelstrom. Well, not edition, totally right. yeah, change, yeah. but you know that doesn't really go into much Norway folklore at all, whereas the original one did. Yeah, yeah. So, yeah. so still making it about the country that you're in, hmm. but then bringing the Disney IP in where where appropriate. Yeah. Well, I liked it. We've only seen it once, right? Because I feel like it, it's maybe twice. Maybe twice, yeah. It's very vague in my mind, but I do remember that LeFou ends up being the hero. So I feel like I need to see it again. Yeah. Doesn't make a lot of sense. Yeah. But anyway, I do that's like, just me. I that's do my... like LeFou, though. <laughs> yeah. Like, they could have done, like, Lumiere and Cogsworth, like, go on, take you on a tour of France. Mm. And, like, they could have done their little banter back and forth. Yeah. That, that would have been cute. Anyway, that that was that was my. And then Belle shows up at the end. I want adventure in the great. <laughs> like they're zooming in. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. actually could work. Anyway, all right. Morocco, so, you go first. Okay, I don't know what this area is called. I'm sure it has a name, but there's this room when you very first like walk in. It's on the left hand side, and it's the square where it has the like the upper area that's like a little deck area, and it's all this like intricate tile work, and there's like a little fountain on the side. I'm sure that little room has a name. I just don't mm-hmm. know what it is. But that area, I feel like no one's ever in there. So it's a real quiet little area. But it just is so beautiful. The, all the like intricate tile work and that kind of stuff. And it's just like you can sit down there. You can relax a little bit. Slightly cooler. Yeah, I just love that little that little room. Yeah, that is really beautiful. I don't even think I'd ever gone in there the first you know few times we'd ever gone to Epcot. Like I didn't really understand. Yeah. So I just, I don't know. I just always skip past it but now we go in it every time yeah and it's just like morocco's my favorite to just wander around it's just so Mm -hmm. pretty but then my negative is that restaurant marrakesh still is not open oh it's still not it's still not open and so they there's all these different things i've heard about whether it's going to i don't i think at this point it's not going to reopen is the last i heard um at some point i thought they were going to turn it into like a lounge and then i don't know if that's happening now like i I don't know what they're doing with it, but I wish they would redo it. But even when it was open, I feel like we went and the food that we had was not great. But it had like a belly dancer and it was like, you know, very um, like it was an entertainment it dinner. Was while fun, you're yeah. But I'm like, if they reopened it, maybe you had a little bit better dinner back there. Then it would I just I don't know, bring that whole area back to life a little bit. But it's still closed. Yeah, it definitely feels like stagnant as you walk through the yeah. Morocco Pavilion right now. Like there's something missing. So that was your minus, right? Yeah. Okay. So my plus, first of all, so going across the the big pathway to Spice Road Table, still one of my favorite restaurants in all of Disney. I feel like the food is so good. It's different than what you're getting in a lot of places. And it's on the water. You can mm-hmm. eat outside or inside. Yeah. Like it is, it's just one of those restaurants and you can usually find availability even like day of, day before, and that if you food pop is on, so good, so good. You use that same chef or the same kitchen or the same whatever For, over at Restaurant America. Yeah, so highly recommend that. Just period, point blank. Mm-hmm. But that is definitely my plus for there. 
This is what I wrote, but I want to connect it. So I wrote, this is one country that feels, and I don't want this to be twisted out of, it feels unwelcoming to kids. And I don't mean that, see, that sounds like strong. What I mean is there's not a lot for kids to do. You could say that about a lot of the countries. Yeah. But I do like that they added the Aladdin and Jasmine meet and greet back there. Genevieve got to do mm-hmm. it last time. And so that I think was a fantastic ad- addition. But maybe that's what it is. It's not even just that there's not much for kids to do because that would be true for a lot of them. It's that it just feels stagnant. Like without that restaurant open, because you're right, I remember hanging out back there and there's just like no one back there. No one's, it just doesn't feel as vibrant as the other countries do right now. So hopefully they'll add in some things. I know they added like a little cart for refreshments in one area. So they are definitely changing things up and switching things around. So I'll be curious in five years how that pavilion has changed. Yeah. Because I love going through the gift shops there, like you said, and kind of getting lost walking through is so cool. Yeah. I feel like it's funny because as I was going through this, for a lot of these, I could have just said, I want more. <laughs> I want to ride and I want more. <laughs> like that was my, yeah. as, and so that was, I was like, I was trying to be more specific and everything, but I, that's exactly what it is. I just want more in, in <laughs> all, all of these of places. On all of them, guys. <laughs> um, okay. So uh, Japan, you mm. said. I'm betting we'll say the same thing, but I don't know. I love Mitsukoshi. Mm -hmm. It's so fun to watch. It's probably my favorite gift shop to walk through in World Showcase. Oh, 100%. Definitely mine. Right? Mm -hmm. I think so. Um, Because there's just, there's something for everyone. At the very end, as you walk all the way through, there's really good Japanese snacks back there. We love to get like the dark chocolate Kit Kats they have. Yeah. Those one fluffy, puffy things you love. So good. Mochi? Is that what they're called? I don't even know what they're called. Well, that might be like the ice cream version. Oh my gosh, they're so good. They're so impossibly soft. You love those. I think Japan, that pavilion could benefit from live performance. Now, I know they do the drums, mm-hmm. and I don't know if I haven't seen that I in a seen while, in a so maybe time. they're not back yet. But I just feel like it needs something else beyond just shopping and eating, which I know is what a lot of pavilions have. But for whatever reason, that one really could benefit from some more live something, or whether it's a yeah. show or something, or bringing that back. Yeah. Because, again, I've, I've been feeling like every time we go in there, I'm like, oh, I just, all right, I guess it's time to leave because we've gone yeah. through the shop. And if we're not eating there again, you know. Yeah, I feel like Epcot still is just not back up to where it used to be as yeah. far as the live performances and that kind of stuff. And, I mean, every time we've gone, I've seen more and more come back. So, oh, like, yeah. the clowns are now back in uh, the Italy Pavilion. I feel like the chair guy was there in Yes, he France. was. I watched so, him, yeah. So, like, they're bringing these people back more and more. Oh, that might have so been in Italy. But, yeah, yeah, yeah. The, yeah, so just more and more of that. Because that is one of my absolute favorite things is as you're just walking around, there's just live performances that just feel so electric and feel so alive. And, obviously, for a long time, a lot of that was gone. But now I feel like it's finally starting to get mm-hmm. back to, you know, to... Really close to pre, yeah, pre-COVID levels. levels. Yeah. yeah. And so I'm really excited that it's it's we're at this point now where I'm like, I think in two to three years now with the future world stuff being finished, I bet they're going to bring back, you know, all the people in the in the world showcase area, and we're going to get back to old school, yeah. new school, Epcot. Old school, new school. <laughs> yeah, Mitsukoshi was mine, um, followed by the landscaping in that little area oh. where you walk up to the quick service, there mm-hmm. just that that garden area is so pretty. That little Zen garden area, if you will, yeah, is so pretty. I just love that landscaping and all that. The yeah. little they have benches over there too, right? Where I you think can so. Kind of, and then they I have like, like if they a, don't, they should definitely add some because that's a beautiful shaded area to relax yeah, and a water feature there too. Yeah. So pretty. I had two here for my my minus one slash. What would I add? Mm. One, I want to go into the pagoda. So as far as I know, unless we've just never done it, but I don't think you can go into the pagoda that. where they have the taiko drummers. Uh-huh. They're, they'll be around that and then they're drumming and it's cool, but I don't think you can actually go inside of it. I would like to go inside and like do a little museum or something like that in there like they do in the Norway. They have that little... Oh, yeah, the, the, um, the stave church. Yeah. yeah. You can just go inside and see like it's just a little exhibit in there, but do something inside that. I think it would be really cool. I don't know what that would be, some little museum, some little... Whatever it is. I wonder what's in there. My guess is that's where they store the drums. But I mean, that seems like, I, yeah, you know. That's my only guess, though. Yeah. But I also think it would be cool. Now, this would be a huge, huge thing. To do the Matterhorn there, but Mount Fuji. <gasps> like, have it, like, when you, like, where the castle is, and you, like, go into the gift shop in the back, and I love where the castle, like, or not castle, but, it, like, comes down into the water. Like, go there. There's the two big samurai on the side. Go to the left and go around the back. And like from World Showcase, you could see the top of the mountain back there and make that. 
the Matterhorn, but Mount Fuji. Oh, yeah. These are all such great ideas. Like, <laughs> this Epcot we're envisioning is really cool. Yeah. And the normal Epcot's really cool. That would be amazing. Yeah. Ugh. Okay. America, we're halfway through. You go first on this one. Okay. So my plus one is the new craft beer area in front of the the Regal Eagle there. The Regal Eagle. I just love it. I'm so glad they finally do it. I know we talked about this just recently, so I'm not going to go into it. But just that makes so much sense For to America, be there. yeah. It's a big craft thing. Craft beer is so big here. Mm-hmm. I just think that's such a cool idea. I'm so glad they added that. And then, oh, this was, okay. In the America Pavilion, where the Voices of Liberty always sing, I think we should have additional music acts there. So Voices of Liberty comes through, but I'm like, we America did not give acapella music to the world. I don't know who did, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't America. I mean, Why don't we have yeah. like a bluegrass band in there? Or have oh. a jazz, jazz band in there? Because these are the types of music that America sort of gave the rest of the world was blues and jazz and bluegrass and all that kind of stuff. So in between Voices of Liberty, I don't, I don't want to get rid of them because I love the Voices of Liberty, that acoustically is so perfect in there. And I don't know uh-huh. if it was made acoustically just for acapella. I think maybe it was. But do other musical acts in there that are also American, like, music. That's a great idea. And I know, and maybe it's still in there, they had, like, the exhibit of all the different jazz thing. Didn't they have, like, Louis Armstrong? Yeah, his trumpet. Um, one of and them. I know some of it had to connected to soul yeah. when that movie came out. But that would be so cool. Well, okay, my plus is Voices of Liberty. I literally wrote, Voices of Liberty is truly unmatched. <laughs> it really is. They have yeah. a lot of albums out on, you know, Apple Music, Spotify, whatever. But they're not, they can't call themselves Voice of Liberty. What are they called? Uh, I knew you were going to ask that. Oh, I'm, I'm just going to look because it's going to drive me nuts if I don't. Voctive. That's what it is. Yep. That was going to kill me. Yeah, they have a bunch. They've done a lot of like Broadway ones. Like that one was called like the corner of Broadway and Main Street. So it's a lot of, so if you ever wanting to hear that kind of thing, Gigi and I will listen to it in the car and she's super into it because they do a lot of like Disney medleys and it's absolutely beautiful. Yeah. Ugh. A barbershop quartet. They could do a barbershop quartet in there. They already got the, the people they for it. They already got the people. <laughs> They already know the songs. But do more American music in there yeah. throughout the day. Okay. My my plus, I said Voice of Liberty. My minus. Okay. I have a few ideas here. The gift shop that they have is very small, which is fine. I mean, you know, America is America. We're already in America. So how much do we really need? <laughs> um, and originally, it was more of like a classic gift shop. They maybe had a few American things, but it was generally just, I don't know what they I had. I don't remember what was in there. No. Yeah. But now it's just an art shop, which again, is fine. Like, you know. But I definitely feel like, okay, Walt Disney's from America. This is an American company. What they have with One Man's Dream, that little museum walkthrough in Hollywood Studios, could totally fit in there in the American. I don't know that it would literally fit in the Not space. Not that space. No, but, but just like generally that. the idea of that. I'm like, there's so much pavilion air. Like, you know, it's a pretty Gosh. big, wide area. They could totally do if they ever got, I guess here's my thing. My fear is they're going to get rid of it at Hollywood Studios, and I don't want it to just be gone they could totally move it to the American Adventure or it, like the Walt, the American Dream or something like that. Yeah. I mean, there's so many. Hmm. And yeah. another thought I had, and this is a weird one and they would never do it, but a ride through of like Walt Disney's life. So it'd be a dark ride. <laughs> oh, I love it. Let's it'd be go. a dark ride and you would go through like the streets of Marceline, Missouri, and you'd ride through that main street as it looked when he was a kid and then it would ride through when he moved out west to eventually California. And I don't know exactly everywhere he lived. But and then eventually, like, it would just be all of that. <laughs> what do we think, everyone? Walt Disney, the man, the myth, the legend. <laughs> I mean, wouldn't that be kind of totally cool, though? Yeah. I don't know that it, that would necessarily need to be yeah. in the American Pavilion. But just, just somewhere. <laughs> I think that'd be okay. cool. Anyway, I got, I got so there think, we go. I got to think on that one. Yeah. <laughs> so Maybe Italy. just make a Missouri Pavilion. <laughs> there you go. Uh, okay. Italy, you sir. Okay, all right. My plus, the food. I mean, it's a it's a place to. It's find, a place it's hard to, to find bad food there. <laughs> yeah, as always, like anytime anyone asks, like where, like what country do you think has the best food there in Epcot? I'm like Italy, easy. Out of that France Tudo pavilion. Itali- oh, you, okay, uh, fine. Add that to the list, but you know what I mean. Because yeah. even oh, back yeah, in the France Hall, pavilion, even yeah. back in Lay Hall, they have the quiche like, is really good just back in there. The buffet case back there, whatever, so good. <laughs> Everything is so good. <laughs> So, yeah, I just feel like the food, you've got Tutto Italia, which is some of the best food we've had in Disney. And it's like classic Italian fare, but leveled up and better. Mm -hmm. And then Via Napoli, their pizza, very, very Mm -hmm. good. And then, of course, there's like walk-up. There's like a pizza walk-up window, which, by the way, totally like hidden gem. 
you can walk back up to where the entrance to Via Napoli is to the left. Yep. There's a walk-up window where you can get pizza, slices of pizza there, right there on the spot, a glass of wine, champagne, beverages, whatever. And there's never a line there. Yeah. At least not when I've looked. So I'm like, it's kind of one of those hidden things that people don't know about. It's really good. Yeah. Just keep that in mind. Yeah, you're right. Yeah. Minus, they should have Luca meet and greets. Remember that oh, show? Yeah. That movie? We loved that movie. Gigi was really into it when it first came yeah. out. We watched it a weird amount of times. <sighs> I know they have painted That's Luca right. and his friend like on the wall, like a Somewhere, mural. Yeah. And it is so cool. I'm like, oh my gosh, what a perfect... But it'd be cool if they did like meet and greets. Yeah. I'm Wouldn't surprised that cute? movie wasn't bigger than it was. I know. I really like I it. If you guys the... have not seen it, you should see it. I don't think it was the best Disney movie to come out recently. No. But it was cute. I liked it. I liked it a lot. Yeah. That's all. I also sure. put, also, could we get an actual quick service? Because at least in France, they have Leal where you can go in and it's like a buff bakery case, buffet. Yeah. But there's a lot of food options mm-hmm. there. And then there's some seating and it's all inside. I feel like Italy, with all the food they have, they have the pizza walk-up window, but it could be cool to have... I don't know where they'd put it. Yeah. But it'd be cool to have, like, an actual quick service. Yeah, I could see that. I don't know. They they, they must not need it, obviously. Yeah, there, it's, yeah, yeah, it might be right. So I love the... On the other side, close to the uh, World Showcase Lagoon, all the gondolas they have just floating there. I don't know why, but there's, like, the, the bridges that go over it, and then there's the gondolas just floating in the water, and they've got the, like, the different colors on them and that kind of stuff. And I just love that little bridge area. Totally didn't need it, but it just makes me happy, and I love that over there. Yeah. That's my plus, just that I love sitting over there. And the last time we were over there, too, I remember I had some video of Gigi just, like, being over there, and it was just cute. My negative is that there's no ride, and I think it'd be an easy one to do a gondola ride very similar to what they do in Mexico, but you're going around Italy in a gondola. Maybe Pinocchio's there. In a gondola. Not our dog, but the... Just thinking of Disney IP, isn't Pinocchio in Italy? Yeah. Or, uh, you're going to laugh when I get to Germany and I share something stupid. Wait, I Wait, no. Wait, is Pinocchio Italian or German? Okay, thank you for that. I thought German, and then I th- was no, thinking no, about no, it just now. A... Pinocchio. Yeah, it's no Italian. way that's German. It's, it's definitely Italian. Italian. Geppetto. Yeah, come on. Yeah. But I genuinely thought it was German. And I think it's the cuckoo clocks. Oh, yeah. Because cuckoo clocks yeah. are very German, right? Yeah. And they ha- like he like does woodworking and stuff. So there's cuckoo clocks in the movie a lot. Yeah. And I think that's the only reason I ever thought it was in Germany. Hmm. <laughs> but yeah, so just doing a ride, like a, just a, a water ride, a dark ride, going through scenes about Italy, all that kind of stuff, but in a gondola. That would be really cool. Oh, man. Okay. Germany. You want to go first? Yes, I love that there's trains, the mini trains. Trains. For no reason. They're just there, and they that. make me so happy. And I swear I could spend 30 minutes just sitting there, just watching where they all go. And then you see all the little scenes and all that kind of stuff. And it's yeah. just, they're going through the tunnels underneath the, it just makes me so happy. I love that little train area. That's just, it just makes me so happy. And actually, I love that it's right by the restrooms, because we always stop at those restrooms. And then it always gives me a few minutes to like just sit there and relax and like. Something to do while you wait. Yeah, I love it. Um, you know, speaking of that, I feel like the gondolas in Italy, the train little area in Germany, those are things, and that, this is part of why we've always loved Disney, is they do those things for little payoff, if you will. Like, it's not something someone can really do. You can't get on the gondolas. You can't, you know, play with the trains. You just look at it. But it adds to the ambiance, mm-hmm. and it makes it, I mean, these are the things we're talking about for a reason, you know? it's yeah. They just do it. Because they know it'll make people happy. It'll bring some joy. Yeah. yeah. That's all. My negative is another addition. <laughs> I think they need a real quick service restaurant in Germany. Because they have mm. uh, the beer garden, which is so fun. You get way too many sausages. And then you get <laughs> and then you get a gallon of beer and a plate of sausages. <laughs> it's ridiculous. Uh, <laughs> but they have summer, summer house, I think is what they call it. Mm-hmm. But it's just like a little walk-up window. There's no really, there's not a place to like sit. There's like a couple little tables there and I think you can get a pretzel and more sausages. I think that's it. Mm-hmm. And so I'm going to knock out some walls. We're going to put a real quick service in there and I'm going to call it schnitzel and spatzel. <laughs> Listen, if you sold schnitzel and spatzel, I would totally... Because like, there's a lot more to German food, I feel like, than pretzels and beaners. Sausages, yeah. So... What would it be? Schnitzel and spatzel? Schnitzel and spatzel. Oh, gosh. <laughs> and they would sell. They would show schnitzel and spatzel. <laughs> okay, love that. I love that idea. 
So my plus is I love the beer garden restaurant. I agree. I wish the food were more varied. Now, used to be buffet style. Mm -hmm. When we went, it was like family family style, like they brought it to you. I don't know if they're ever going to go back to buffet style. I liked that better because then you didn't have to get so many sausages. Because I'm sure when they bring it to you family style, it's a limited menu versus what they had when it was buffet. Well, but that's the problem. This is what we always talk about. They bring way, way too much food. Like, why can't they just allow for us to ask for more? You can. That's No, no, no. I know that. But I guess that's my point. Cut it in half. Cut the food waste in half. Yeah. Let us ask for more of what we want. Right. You and know? especially with meat. I hate wasting food in general, but I really, 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 really hate wasting meat. Yeah. And so I'm like, they just, there's, I'm like, I can't eat any more of the sausage. Like bring one of each. And then if we want more of any specific kind, we can ask we'll for it. I don't need yeah. four of every kind of bratwurst. Right. But the thing that makes me love Beer Garden and why I totally want to go back already mm-hmm. is the live performances. God. They are so good. It is so much fun. I feel like... You walk out of there and the vibe from within that restaurant is so starkly different from when you're walking out in the Florida (laughs) sun. So it's just like, whoa, I just don't even know how to react. It's so fun. And anytime like we've brought family there, Mm -hmm. I always am like, we should go to Beer Garden. They're going to love Beer Garden. And we have. It's so fun. We brought, I think, two different times we brought family there. It's just such a fun. It's such a fun one. If you've never done it, I think even though it's a lot of of sausage, I think it's worth it for that too. And the food was good. I don't want to, you know, it's just. Yeah. My minus. Okay, guys, why in the world has Germany not added Snow White Scary Adventures? Oh, or whatever the new version yeah. is, whatever. Yeah. They took it away from Magic Kingdom. Just move it on over to Epcot. You already got all the pieces. You already got all the pieces. Just reassemble them. I mean, that would be <laughs> that would be so amazing. Yeah. I miss that weird ride so much. It was fun riding it in Disneyland, the mm-hmm. new version. Loved that too. But I, I miss being able to ride it all the time. Gosh, that's so So true. I added, yeah. this is what I was going to say. I said, add a Snow White dark ride in here or Pinocchio's Daring Journey. And then I, in that moment, realized, oh, no, Pinocchio is Italian. Yeah. But again, they have the Pinocchio's Daring Journey ride. Just recreate it yeah. in Italy. You already got all the pieces. I just want a dark ride. And obviously, I want a dark ride in every single country. I know. Well, and I always That'd feel like amazing. that would help swallow up a lot of people, too. They'd be big people eaters, which would then alleviate some of the stresses at the other areas. But... Obviously, every time we go, Epcot's full, so they don't they don't need to. They're like, we don't need your ideas. <laughs> so China. Okay, my plus is a weird one because it doesn't exist, but I hope they bring it back. I really miss the acrobatic performers they used to have. I was gonna bring them up a little bit ago. They were I so forgot good. about that yeah. until I'm like, oh my gosh! So I looked up. They were called. I had to find an old blog writing about jeweled dragon acrobats. All I remember is I swear we would watch that show and there were so many people around watching it. Mm -hmm. And I swear they were like touching the sky. They'd be like seven people high. I'm like, how are they doing this? Yeah. It was so spectacular. They were so good. So I really hope that comes back because that that was like one of the coolest live things they did. My minus, if I'm remembering right, and I haven't been to the China Circle Vision show in a while, I felt like last time it needed to be updated did they update it and i just haven't seen the new version or so let me stop you there so my actual my plus Mm -hmm. was the reflections of china video it's it was the the three the 360 one that they did and it was really cool as obviously went all over china and i think china's landscape is just so incredibly beautiful and they have these so like these uh different towns and that kind of these different cities that are just incredible and it was like a flyover of all those those the video itself was getting very very old but I loved it. They announced years ago. This is the problem with Disney. They announce things and like 10 years later, they're like, yeah, we're still working on it. Like, tell me or when they're it's like, almost just, done. We were just kidding. <laughs> yeah, they just, oh, they just don't do it at all. That was Reflections of China. It was there for, I don't know, 10, 20 years, whatever. Mm-hmm. They announced they were going to update it because it used to be separate screens. They were going to make it one seamless screen like they do in other countries. Mm-hmm. Um, and it was going to be an updated film called Wondrous China. That was supposed to open in like 2020. Uh, now it's supposed to open question mark. So they they're just, not showing anything there right now. I don't think so. Uh, they might be showing the old one right now. I, I don't know. Yeah, I don't either. Um, we haven't tried. But I want I want them to update it because mm-hmm. it's so cool. And I just, I they apparently were working on it, but then they kind of went radio silent on if it's still happening. I'm guessing it's still happening at some point, gotcha. but it's going to be called Wondrous China. Well, that's good then. Because I, I really remember feeling like it needed updated. So. Yeah. 
Yeah. Which is why I hadn't really tried to see it again. Um, so that was my, actually my plus, was that I love that video. Okay. And that I, I just want them to update it and, and or bring it back, whatever. Mm-hmm. So my my minus one, this is a very, this is very specific to me. <laughs> when, Can't wait. When we went with your brother, Michael, we uh, were in the gift shop and they had these bottles of beer that were shaped like Buddha and they're called Lucky Buddha Beer. And they're these green bottles and like the bottle is shaped like Buddha. And so we bought it and we were all excited. Like, this is so great. Like, it's almost like a souvenir you can bring home. And it was only six or eight bucks. Mm -hmm. It was a pretty inexpensive beer by Disney standards. And we were all excited. And then he poured them into like a plastic cup and he threw the bottles away. And we're like, oh, no, we wanted the bottles. We were going to like like keep them as souvenirs. And he's like, oh, no, they're glass. You can't have them. And so they threw them away. And I'm like, but I wanted it. So he let (laughs) the cast member let us take a picture. We have somewhere. I have a picture of Michael and I holding up our green. Bottles. That you weren't allowed and to then take he, Yeah, and then he took them away and he threw them away. That just made me sad. Oh, well, there you go. <laughs> that's that's my negative. <laughs> that there. is a very specific. Very specific to just me, though. So don't don't be duped. Don't buy it. <laughs> you can't bring it with you. All right, let's do Norway. The giant troll in the gift shop. Oh, so glad they kept that. I am too, because they very easily could have gotten rid of that. But I just, I don't think we've ever passed through there without one of us getting a picture in front of it. Mm-hmm. We, I mean, for... 15 years we've been going and we always yep. get a picture of one of us now the girls always want a picture in front of it it i just love that I giant giant troll there my negative is that i want them to keep the frozen ride but i want the boats to come outside again where you could see it and then they went and they went back down i want them to bring that back I don't change anything else about that. just reopen the wall let the boat come back and then I totally, because it was cool from the outside to be able to see the boat coming. Oh my gosh. I, that you just unlocked like a memory I'd forgotten about. Mine are kind of boring and they're all focused on the bakery. (laughs) (laughs) For whatever reason, I really struggled with Norway. I, I, because I love the frozen ride so much. We just ate at Akershus, although you weren't there. Me and my mom and the girls ate at Akershus and had a great experience. Like I really like what they've done with the frozen. I was nervous because I did love Maelstrom, but I really like it all. So I really focus in on the bakery. <laughs> I love the bakery. I feel like it's unique. There's not a lot of bakeries throughout Disney other than like Starbucks, unless you're in Disney Springs. There's a lot. Don't, wouldn't you agree? And I never so, thought about it. But yeah. yeah. So it's kind of cool and unique in that way. And anything we've ever gotten there has been really good. We need to go. I always say this every time. We always forget to like go. Yeah. Lately, we haven't. And I feel like you could try a lot of the things and like you could go a bunch of times and never try the same thing twice. There's enough yeah. options. But my minus is I think they should lean in to offering coffee there. I bet they offer, I, I'm betting they have like the Disney coffee, you know. I would assume there. so. But I feel like if they really leaned into it being like also a coffee bar, and I know we're in Norway, so I'm like, okay, well, is coffee really big in Norway? I don't know. But I'm just saying mm. coffee's really big in Epcot in America. <laughs> so I'm like, they could really lean into having maybe some more options, maybe offering cold brew there. Again, maybe mm. they do. I don't know. But, but Starbucks is closer thing. to the front. Once we're getting in, I'm like, we need some better coffee options as we go around. Yeah. There's we, a good Joffrey's kiosk near the America Pavilion where you can get in at the entrance to yeah. World Showcase where you can get some like cold brew and things like that. But I'm going to need more in between. Going to need those more. Going to need yeah. more. Yeah. Okay. So our final one Mexico. Mexico. Okay. The biggest plus is Gran Fiesta Tour never has a line. So it is so nice that you can go into Epcot and enter World Showcase and right away, if you've got a kid that's like, I want to ride a ride, you can get right on that ride, baby. And we almost always Mm -hmm. do because Genevieve's itching for a ride. So I'm very thankful for that, genuinely. However, I have a lot of nostalgia for this ride, but I can also see with clear eyes that like maybe we should do something with it. So my minus is that ride, even though I love it, I do think it maybe needs an update. So I did some digging this morning, and I haven't told you any of this. I thought I had heard that Coco was going to be, it was going to be rethemed with Coco. I was like, certainly I'd heard that. I don't think I've heard that. So I'm looking it up, and there are a lot of blogs about the rumors of it over the past, like, since Coco came out four or five years ago, whenever it was. So that rumor has been going around. I could not find anything solid But I found one really random blog post that made it sound like Disney had confirmed it and it was a quote from Disney, but I can't find that on any other site or any Disney. Hmm. So I'm like, is this like a made up blog? Like it was really bizarre, but they shared concept ideas that someone had made. So it wasn't, my understanding is it wasn't from Disney and it was really cool. So in this idea that this, whoever this person was, 
you would go through the Santa Cecilia, like the cemetery, and then you would go through and, of course, eventually get into the land of the dead or whatever. I think that's what they called it. Mm. And there'd be the ofrenda at certain points and, and like their casita or no, now I'm thinking of Encanto. <laughs> anyway, but it would just go through all of that. And of course, you'd get to see Ernesto de la Cruz's like palace that he's in oh and like gosh. all of it. And I have the goose I'm talking about. I'm like, they could do so. That movie was so gorgeous. Yeah. It was the way it was done. I think it's the, the most beautiful movie that they've That is definitely one of my top favorite movies they've released in the past decade. Easily. Easily. Top three. Maybe number one. Honestly, it's. The story is so good. Kanto's up there too, the though. The music is so good. It is just breathtaking. Yeah. It is so beautiful. So, I think it's all rumors, but I really think they should make it happen. Make I it think happen. they would be remiss if they did not. I <laughs> yeah, really do. No, right. I'll be sad to see, and I bet they'd have a nod or two in the ride to mm-hmm. the Donald Duck, because I do, well, uh, you know... And it could be that right now so much is, I mean, even still closed in Epcot that they're probably thinking about doing this. They they literally are doing the entire They're like, we got to get all this stuff open before, like 2026, we'll start talking about a Coco ride. Like, they're probably moving stuff way down. Yeah. Um, Also, gosh, there's so much that just came out with D23. We haven't even started really thinking about. So, okay. So here's my two. Um, Mariachi Mariachi Cobra. They used to play inside the building all the, Cobra. They used to play inside the building all the time, and they were so good. And then now, every once in a while, they'll be outside. But I feel like I haven't seen them inside in a while. But either wherever they're playing. I don't remember playing, ever seeing them inside. That'd be cool. Yeah, they used to be inside, too. And I loved it, because you would walk in, and you'd hear them playing live, and it was so good. Um, wherever they play, they're so good. But I want them to be playing in there inside more often. But they're just so good. So, so good. And then uh, my minus one is La Cava del Tequila. You think they've sold out. <laughs> Fight me on it. <laughs> well, so listen, if you, I think a lot of you guys know, but just to fill you in, do you want to fill yeah, in? Yeah, so it used to be my, my all, one of my all-time favorite places in all of Walt Disney World. But the last couple of years we've gone, I think they've become a victim of their own success because we used to, I mean, years ago, we would walk in and there would be no one there. Yeah. And they were so good. Now there's always a line. Like they will even have a line outside that you have to like queue up to get inside. Like it's crazy. Mm-hmm. But they used to make everything like in front of you and it was incredible. Now they have like the big cruise ship jugs with the pre-made mixes in them. And like if you order something, they pull out this giant like gallon jug and they pour it in a cup and they hand it to you. And they taste sugary now. They don't. And it's I just know, not. The quality is undoubtedly not the same yeah, because they're I not think, the same i think they're a victim success. of their own success they were so good and like they had like this cult following mm-hmm. and now they become so big with that they, social they media to. and all I mean, that yeah i mean they don't have time to sit there and make it now yeah. i mean if you're just going and getting tequila they have um, you know good tequilas we've never done that but uh, yeah i think the, our friends were saying they a lot of times will eat in there like get you know chips and salsa whatever yeah, and, and get a flight of tequila you know, yeah whatever um but the actual margaritas i'll be like i'll take I'll take a flight of tequila, um, but can I get a margarita without the tequila to the side so I can chase <laughs> or just like make my own? <laughs> but anyway, yeah, I just, yeah. I feel like it's, it's gone down. It's kind of one of those things, you know, yeah. like how do you, and there's not really any real solution other than if they just make it huge and hire a bunch of bartenders and like to be able to yeah. make all of them on the spot. Well, and for a lot of years we'd go in there. It was the same guys every single time. Like mm-hmm. you, like, but now I feel like it's different people every time we go in mm-hmm. and it's just, they just, you know, mechanized it and made it. Faster. Yeah. Faster but and different. Anyway. Now, needless to say, we still oftentimes will stop yeah. there and still get one. But. but the problem is there's still $16 or whatever. So it's like. Uh, I no. still think some of them are good, though. No, they're still good, but they're just not like. What they were. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, oh, well. What are you going to do? Um, okay. Oh, then. we did ask you guys. Yeah. On our Instagram, which is at Disneyville Podcast. Everyone say it together. I literally said, pick a country in Epcot and tell me your favorite thing and your least favorite. So. I haven't really looked at these yet. I'm curious. <laughs> okay, I love this. SCK19 said, Italy, it is beautiful, but is it just me or is it the hottest country in the park? The sun hits different. <laughs> okay, yeah. I don't know. I don't know that I've noticed that, but I feel like I have the same idea with like Animal Kingdom. For whatever reason, I when I think of Animal Kingdom, I'm like, it's the hottest park. I don't want to go there. It's too hot there. <laughs> like they're all hot. But I know what you mean where you just, there's something about it. Maybe because Italy doesn't have a lot of shade. I'm trying to think. Like, there are certain ones I feel like are always shady. Maybe it just faces just, I'm trying to think what direction it faces. But, yeah. Yeah. So, the uh, Maggie J. Rose said, Japan um, is my all-time favorite. Canada needs a major reefer because there's so much that could be shown. And that's exactly it. Like, maybe they should do, like, a like a Mountie ride or a... 
I don't know. There's Gosh, be, I just feel like be I'm still stuck now on the poutine cart. Like, come on. And use the building that's already there. Wait a minute. Don't they have a poutine cart now in the front now that I'm thinking about it? I think they might. They have like a food cart out there, but I'm talking about I want to use the buildings that are there. Yeah, They're no, so I, I agree. I want a reason to go up there. Okay, this is a really interesting take. Ooh, you know what would be a fun episode? Disney World hot takes and sharing your guys' hot takes and our hot takes. Okay, we got to yeah. add that to the list. Yeah. Okay, Sadie C-I-M-M uh, said, I love the America attraction and barbecue, but don't love the theming. Would love NOLA, et cetera. I saw that, yeah. Doing some yeah. New Orleans, even if it was like almost half of it. And of course, I mean, it's America. Like there's so many different... But see that kind of theming, but that would that would be cool. That's where the jazz comes in. Yeah, bringing in a jazz band. Gosh, in the have beignets, <sighs> oh, Cafe yeah. Duvon coffee with chicory. Okay. 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 <laughs> this is kind of a hot take. Fallen Angel sixty one ninety said, "Love Norway would change it back to Maelstrom and add something else frozen, because they do have the." Meet and greet. Like summer house, meet and greet. So yeah, that's kind of an interesting thought. Like, I mean, maybe we could just, I mean, they're, you know, they're never going to change it back to Maelstrom, but man, I would give a lot to be able to ride Maelstrom one last time. Yeah. Yeah. We, uh, not that long ago, you and I looked up a ride through and I had forgotten so much about it. Oh my gosh. Claire K. Johnson said, UK core memory, stormy night. Oh, those are always the most memorable when it's raining and you're like, no, but you always remember it mm -hmm. like so well. So, core memory, stormy night, sitting on the floor in Rose and Crown, drinking a snake bite. Love that. You're just like trapped inside. It's all cozy because it's it was storming out there. Oh my gosh. <gasps> was that a thing? What? Mason0313 said, Japan, give us that Mount Fuji roller coaster they planned. Was that a thing? So maybe it was maybe it was, it was locked a, in your brain. You didn't even realize. I didn't realize. even know it. It was one of those things that I read probably years ago and had forgotten, but I've just oh my that's gosh. such a smart idea. Stone Sailing said, I love Asia, but I wish they would put a Mulan Broadway style show in there. That would be cool. Oh my gosh. Oh, our like best a, friend Emily would love that. Yeah, <laughs> she but loves like Mulan. an actual, like a big, a big show would be cool. That would be really neat. Yeah, there really aren't any like Broadway style shows anywhere at Epcot. Mm -hmm. Not like big productions. Yeah, because yeah. Hollywood Studios has like Frozen Ever mm -hmm. After, Beauty and the Beast. Oh my gosh. Jean McFarland said, Mexico, love the atmosphere, but would like better food at the restaurant inside. Yes, that's what I always say. I think the food at La Hacienda and uh, La Cantina across the way are, so, the, I mean, the quick service and the table service are both really good. We've had some of our best meals mm -hmm. at La Hacienda, but San Angel Inn, every time we eat there, I'm like, this food is not very good. I love the atmosphere. Oh, yeah. But I feel like the food, I'm like, how can you do it so well over there? <laughs> What's different between there and there? Yeah. I have to say, I always defended Sun and Hell's Inn's food. But the last time we ate there, I was pretty disappointed. And I think I tried some of yours. And I'm like, yeah. So I don't know. I don't know what's different. They just need like a refresh on the menu or something, yeah. you know? Yeah. So many people are saying more room for La Cava del Tequila. Mm -hmm. It's yep. too tight in there. Really is. A lot of you guys, like I would almost say 50% of people have chosen Mexico as the country to talk about. Mm -hmm. And yeah. so many people just talk about how they love the vibes. I agree. I mean. Yeah. I would say love the, so the vibes, more room and better drinks at La Cava and changing it to Coco themed. That's like <sighs> the, the, just consistently across the board. Yeah. That's what I'm seeing. Yep. Boom. There's another one. Three Caballeros. Change it to Coco theme. Get him Carter said, love hate with Morocco. Beautiful, but they need a show or something else to do. Because I feel like we spend very little time in Morocco. Yeah, we walk around. It's so beautiful. Because we love it. I love walking around it. But yeah. Yes. Monique M. Cloud said, Italy. I love the food, but wish they could make their quick service food match the sit down. Because what quick service is over there other than the pizza? Because that's what I was saying. I feel like they need one. But I'm like, do they have any other? The casual puzzler said, not a specific country, but overall, World Showcase needs more shade for hot days. That's that's true. <laughs> yeah, I would agree with that. Okay, this is going to be the last one I read because I agree so wholeheartedly <laughs> on this, and I'm mad at both of us for not saying this because we both talked about it before. Olivia Rizzo said, I love the bakery and quick service in France, but how is there no Gusto's restaurant? Yep. How in the world? We're ending on that because that is so true. That is the, that's the best one. Monsieur Paul's, change it to Gusto's. Done. Because no one really cared. We've had Monsieur Paul's and it was really good. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it's, 
that you could literally just keep it the same and just name it Gusto. My like, only thought is and that And have Ratatouille on the menu, obviously. It's a smaller restaurant, if I remember right. And they it would it would be impossible to get a reservation there because that's... Here's an idea. Chefs de France, mm-hmm. combine them. Combine the two. They, Maybe they probably already share a kitchen. Combine it. Make that Gusto's. Mm-hmm. Giant Gusto on top. Have Ratatouille on the menu. Mm-hmm. And then, you know, other things. Yeah, I mean, it, and maybe the, again, like you said, I think a lot of these ideas, some of them probably will happen. Like I could see the Coco retheming absolutely happening. I could see that because it's not. I mean, it'd be a big thing, but it's not like creating a whole new world. Yeah, they have these hit movies in these countries. Just mm-hmm. use use what you already have. Yeah, and so, then and then next time we'll have to talk more about what countries we could add. <laughs> oh my gosh, that'd be so fun. Okay, we always like to read a review. Okay, so SGB001 said, I have always enjoyed Tyler and Jessica's content, including their fantastic podcast. Each episode presents a friendly and enjoyable conversation about Disney, sprinkled with humor and helpful tips. Tyler and Jessica are such relatable, sweet hosts, and their content is always such a pleasure. I highly recommend this podcast. That's so nice. Unbelievable. I mean, come on. You guys That's are so just, nice. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you for anyone. Thank you to anyone that has left a review. Taking the time um, out of your day. Yeah, because that's nice. I mean, you kind of have to go out of your way to do it. So yeah. it's very, very kind of you. means just a Thank lot. you so much. All right. Well, we have, I think we know what we're doing for our next episode, and that'll be a fun one. We better eat before we do the next one. Yeah, that's very true. <laughs> All right. Anything else? No, I don't think so. See you in two weeks. <laughs> Bye, guys. <laughs> Bye.